Hello, Assalamualaikum. Let's continue on characterization of raw materials. Right. Firstly, we will learn on the physical characterization. And the first one is X-ray diffraction analysis or XRD analysis. Okay. The aim of XRD analysis is to qualitatively and quantitatively analyze the phase, crystallography, and crystal structure of the materials. In fact, XRD is the most important materials characterization because the diffraction pattern is the birth set of each material. As you can see here, there are different diffraction patterns. Okay, so the top one shows a single phase and amorphous phase diffraction peaks. How can you tell it is single phase? Because they are all the same and there's no secondary phase detected. And amorphous phase is shown by the broad peaks. As compared to this one, the peaks are very sharp and narrow. This indicates that the samples are in crystalline phase. However, as you can see, there's a blue and green dots on the diffraction peaks. This show that there is secondary phase detected in the sample. Right. The second one is particle size. Particle size is significantly important as it affects the rate and temperature of sintering. As we know, finer particles would have larger surface area. So this will lead to faster sintering rate because faster diffusion between the particles. As a result, we get higher densification at lower temperature. But handling a small particles is very tricky because especially when you are preparing a dispersion in slurry or a solution, okay, you might need to use dispersion or defloculant because finer particles tend to agglomerate or stick to each other due to very strong electro electrostatic charge between them. So we need to add dispersion to repel the interaction among the particles. Right, particle size, size distribution, and shape. How can we characterize them? For particle size analyzer or nano sizer, it's normally used to determine the particle size and size distribution of the produce powders. While BET, or known as Brownian Inmet and Teller analysis, is normally used to characterize the surface area of the powders. And finally, electron microscope, you can use either scanning electron microscope or transmission electron microscope to determine the particle shape and particle size of the powders simultaneously. This is the example of morphological observation. The top one here shows SEM micrograph of hydroxyapatite nanopowders. You can see how agglomerates are they because they are in very, very fine powders in nanometer size. The same powders were observed under TM, and this is the image of TM. And we can see a clearer particle size and shape of HA nanopowders here compared to the one in SEM. So that's all for physical characterization of materials.